Hi there. The intended learning outcome of this video is for the students to be able to describe the steep framework to improving healthcare, to describe the steep framework for achieving high quality healthcare. The STEEP framework is one of the most influential frameworks put forth to guide efforts to continuously improve healthcare. The framework was introduced by the Institute of Medicine in their 2001 publication, Crossing the Quality Chasm, a new health system for the 21st century. The framework introduced the six aim for improving healthcare, which is the backbone of this steep framework. According to this framework, healthcare systems should provide healthcare that is safe, timely, effective, efficient, equitable, and patient-centered. To begin with, health care must be safe. This means that safety must be a property of the health system or the healthcare organization. No one should ever be harmed by healthcare. And that is not true. Being safe involves avoiding causing harm to patients from the care intended to help them. Eliminating hazardous products in the work environment. Investing in safe patient handling equipment. Identifying and analyzing errors and adverse events. And guarding against work, workplace violence are all examples of the strategies that seek to ensure the safety of care. Second, health care should be timely. Unintended waiting that does not provide value is a system defect that should be avoided and eliminated. Prompt attention to patient needs benefits both the patient and the caregiver. Excellent healthcare organizations continuously work toward identifying and eliminating unnecessary delays. Third, health care must be effective. The care should be based on scientific knowledge for all who could benefit with neither underuse or overuse of the best available treatments and resources. For example, every heart patient who would benefit from beta blockers should get them. And no child with a simple ear infection should get advanced antibiotics. Best scientific evidence must inform clinical decisions. That is the 
face of providing effective health care. Fourth, the healthcare system should be efficient. This means constantly working to reduce any waste and hence reducing the cost. So should, you should be working to reduce the waste, the waste of all the resources used in providing healthcare. This also means using the most cost-effective options in the most appropriate setting. Fifth, healthcare should be equitable. This means that healthcare systems provide care that does not vary in quality because of patients' personal characteristics. And sixth, healthcare should be patient-centered. This means that care provided is respectful of and responsive to patient preferences, needs, and values and ensures that patient values guide clinical decisions. So these were the six aims of healthcare. In the following section of the video, you will be presented with several scenarios that you will read, and then you will decide which quality dimension was risk in that scenario. You may need to pause the video to have extra time to inspect the content and reach the answer.